Hey everybody, this is Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. I hope everyone is doing great today. It's Saturday here in North Carolina. We've had some really, really, really bad weather the last few days, but today is beautiful. The sun's shining and I hope that I can get this video done while it's still daytime. The last few videos I've done, I've been doing them at night. Now, they haven't been turning out that well. So, let's see. Maybe today's will be better. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, I'm here with um, an update on my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. I have completed my uh, May page for my book, for my journal, and I've also um, attached my cover to my book. So I'll just start and show you that first and then I'll work my way back to um, my May page. So uh, I think I, I already showed you my cut that I was working on my cover and I have now finished it. Um, I just used some random pieces of fabric and stitched them together and uh, used some lace and this is my cover. It's uh, pretty easy to see. Then I had this piece of lace here. Um, it was a kind of a large piece. I've got it attached on the back now. Let me back out a little because I think I'm a little bit... <clears throat> you can't get the whole thing in there. Um, it was a piece of, um, I don't know, a dress or something. I can't remember now what it was. But anyway, um, it had these little... Uh, pleats in it here on the side where I've cut it off and um, so I started there and wrapped it around and then there was this lace that had these little um, bugle beads in it and I'm pretty sure they're probably not they might be showing up but I don't know if they are or not they're just uh, clear and then uh, this was the, the end of it right here so I attached this piece of eyelet, <clears throat> excuse me, fabric to here just to make it come around further. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything else on here, if I'm going to just leave this um, bare, the rest of the back of the book. I'm thinking I might just leave it as is, but uh, we'll see, because this is not attached down yet, because my back cover can't be attached until I finished my June page. So, anyway, um, let's go inside. So here's my first two pages, and I've, I've shown you these, I think, probably about every time that uh, I do this. I, I show my book, but it's because I have progress. <laughs> oh, and I will tell you that I didn't know any other way. I've got some glue strings. I didn't know any other way to attach my cover to my book other than I used Fabri-Tac and I also used um, my hot glue gun. So that was the only way I knew to attach it. So I hope that that's not cheating because I just don't know if there would have been any other way. Anyway, um, let's just flip on back here to... And I think I've explained that I did the um, tab binding on my book. So, um, my first two pages, January and February. I don't know where the time's gone. Seems like it's just flown by this whole year. And here's um, March and April. And here's May. This is the one that we did. Uh, this month, and it was uh, a bird and favorite color. I couldn't get favorite on there, so I just wrote fave, and then put May down here, over here, <clears throat> and stamped it's a good day, and then I did a back stitch over that, and uh, I did some little turkey work flowers here, and I did uh, Embroidery my little flowers that were here, and I don't remember. I think it's a back stitch, but I'm not sure. I do a lot of back stitches. <laughs> um, let me come in a little. 
There we go. I didn't do anything to the birds. I did um, go over the, the little um, branches. Um, and then I just used some some little flower trim that I had in my stash. I just cut them apart and used those uh, to add the flowers. And the same with the uh, little leaves. That was a, a trim that I had, and I cut the leaves off of it. Um, I did some seed stitching on my bird. And um, what else? Did a little seed stitching here on this flower. But um, then I added three rows of lace around here. I had these two already on and then I stitched this third one on. Um, so yeah, that's it. There's not a whole lot left to say. Um, this will be my page for June. I'll leave it right here. And then June's going to go here and then that'll be the back of my book. But because I may, I will probably have to adjust my spine because I haven't gotten um, June done yet. So I don't want to attach the back of my book until I get June done because I want it to lay flat. I don't want to have to use um, any type of a tie. And with this type of uh, binding, it will lay flat because it's just going to expand as I add pages. So, but I was, in the beginning, I had decided that I was going to do, um, I was going to do some, two more of these sample pages to uh, see how much I improved. But, you know, I don't think I've improved very much because most of these I didn't do. In my in my stitching of my pages, I didn't do a lot of these, so I don't see any reason to go back and do them again. Besides that, we're going to be starting a new uh, journal. It's going to be Roxy's Christmas Journal of Stitchery. And if you don't want to do Christmas, you can do winter. I'm thinking I might do a mixture of both some Christmas and some winter, but we'll see. I don't know yet. Um, we have still got another page in here to do another month um, before this one will be done. So I'll think about that after I'm finished with this. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Almost completed and I am very happy with it. Um, there are some ladies out there that do some amazing, absolutely amazing work stitching but that's not me I'm I'm too I'm new I don't I haven't had that much experience and um, so I just do the best I can but I am happy that mine has turned out as well as it has and uh, I'm very proud of it so um, I'll let you go for now I'm gonna be back shortly I'm getting ready when I get this one done, this video done. I have a little haul to show you. Not a very big one, but a little one. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Take care. Be safe. Bye for now.